Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a, well, we got an Underwood in the case. That's what's in the case. So, got this in for, uh, shipped in for evaluation for repair, and it was, yeah, well, it made it. Let's just put it that way. I'll be kind. It made it. This piece was jammed underneath the typewriter, but it's part of, it's part of the case. It goes right here. It's supposed to be it's riveted on there somehow. I'll probably just uh, contact some it back on, I suppose. The case survived. Here's the machine. The machine survived. I did unscrew the uh, front screws here already, which are these guys. One of them's bent. Uh, they were both really stuck on there, but I got them off without breaking the piece underneath. So let me remove this from the bottom. And this is a little dirty, not as bad as I've seen. But these screw holes survived, and sometimes these screws will break, but they uh, they survived, so we're going to set that aside, take a look at the machine here, which needs some help, I've heard. So first thing, well, yeah, so I've already peeked at this a little bit, first thing is the carriage doesn't latch up, but that's probably the carriage release arm up here is jammed it's so bad. Is binding. I think that's it. Okay, see, yeah. But I'm not 100%. Yeah, that's probably it, but I'm not sure how to fix that yet. It's pretty, it's pretty bound up. Okay, next thing major on this is the front feed roller. It will not feed paper through. So, paper in, paper nothing. If you force the paper in and close the gap, it, it doesn't spin. It just just finds this, the flat spot on the roller, and that's it. So you can see down in here. Oh, where can I see? Okay, he's here. You get a light. Okay, there's. The roller, and if I release the paper release here, I can spin that around, and you can see the flat spot on it. Maybe there it is, right there. So it's got the, one of the biggest flat spots I've ever seen, just matched flat. So that roller's got to be dealt with before it's even going to feed any paper. While we're on the bottom here, the uh, feet don't look too bad. I mean, I've seen worse. All four are here, so that's a positive thing. Let's see. It's just dirty. Just grungy, dirty. And it gets right here. All this stuff is just pretty grungy. Okay, next thing is the shift. So this has carriage shift. It doesn't shift. It moves back down with a little bit of, but it's not, uh, not working right. That's bound up somehow. I don't know if that happened in shipping or, or it was that way to begin with, so we got to deal with that. Next thing is sticky keys, so the keys are sticking, which I think is dirt related. And, of course, the ribbon lift is jammed up. It feels like it's sticky, but it could be bent and sticky. And, of course, it needs the nuts for the ribbon. It doesn't necessarily need them. This has this, got a little pin in here that will drive the ribbon. But, so that's not a deal breaker. Now, the, the roll of the carriage... The arm up here, or the arm sticking, and let's see, this seems to be something else. Draw band is actually good, and it feels, oh shit, I don't know, I don't know, I <laughs> felt a little brittle there, when I just uh, kind of flexed it, let's see how this looks. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's original. 
80 years old. Maybe should be replaced before it breaks, but I, it's working now. So that's it, I guess. Um, I didn't try a ribbon reverse or anything, like ribbon drive. Actually, it does not look like it's turning the ribbon. It shouldn't. It should be turning one of these fools with this action. Let me get this lever back up here. Let's see if this ribbon is moving. This bull should be turning. It's got the ratchet. This one is this one is free spinning and it's not turning. So I got ribbon drive issue two. Let me reverse it and see if the other side works. No, neither neither direction is working. Okay, ribbon drive, ribbon lift, carriage lift, carriage release, feed roller. Is that it? Oh, it's sticky keys. I think we got it. So I just did a video instead of doing pictures. Probably look quicker. And that's all I see right off the bat. So, all right. Phoenix typewriter. Good day.